Julio, 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 Julio Jones I'm from Atlanta, you throw me the ball and I scoop in the zone They hit me up for a deal like it's something I do on the phone Check Goes in a bottle game. You're looking very uh, aero. Well, the, my face is the only part of me that's aero, though, isn't it? Haven't ridden a bike in a month. Why are you all covered in? You're always covered in shit. Um, where did you get that hat? Arizona. When we were in Arizona. Right. Today's video, planning for Vietnam. Two days before we. <laughs> Would you have it any different? It's basically like you were in charge of planning, Franny. It's not Death Valley. It's not be fifty degrees. I got sheep and Morris's wallpaper. First of all, a big thank you to Kamut for sponsoring this trip again. They've helped us out massively in the past when it's come to the Australia trip and Project USA as well. So it's really cool to be working with them again. Obviously, a lot of you already know how Kamut works. They've released a lot of new features recently in the form of Kamut Premium. Just taking him half an hour to remember his password. Yeah, this is amazing. So you basically specify it by how many days you're going to do it over. Although it's not going to be 30 days, we're going to call it 21 days. You select your fitness. I'm going to drag mine right down here to Fotmon Couch Potato. I'm a little bit better than Couch Potato. I think I'm a little bit better than average as well. That's you two assholes. <laughs> Go next. So it then splits it. This might not actually be the final route that we end up doing because I'm in two minds as to what we're going to do. But so the first day, first day of riding is from Hanoi all the way down into Halong Bay. We then finish that and we get back on the ferry, come right back across to the mainland. And then we basically just begin the trip south. Slightly hugging the coast because there are lots of kind of pretty cool towns and cities to, to, to visit in the, in the coast until we get basically about halfway down the country. Uh, there is a little cut inland here at Dong Ha where there's a series of temples that we're gonna go and see there. I have a day in Da Nang and then a day in Hoi An which is only about five, 10 miles south. And then we're gonna cut inland and go basically up to Kaesan, which was a, uh, a, a marine combat base in the, in the Vietnam War. And there's those old blown out tanks and helicopters and some, some far out shit. And then we're gonna carry on going south until we get to Pleiku, or we were just talking off camera about what we might do when we get to Pleiku, because I actually, this, this route's taking us, hugging the Cambodian border all the way along to, uh, straight to Ho Chi Minh or Saigon. Uh, I actually think we might go east to Nha Trang, which is like a, uh, a beach village and then come back west. It's like a hundred mile uh, deviation from the route, so it's not gonna add a crazy amount of distance. It just means that we, we might get to see a little bit more, uh, have a bit more fun. So I mean, I had sort of planned all of this already, but what I hadn't realized was how good this really was. With Kamut Premium, you can actually put a, uh, you can set your, um, your end point as your accommodation you can add accommodation onto the route so we are staying in the floating guest house set as accommodation oh that's so good i know we're staying there it's set, already on Kamut's it, database it's already on Kamut's database 108 miles 2000 feet of climbing goes a bit up and down there's a few bits of accommodation already on Kamut's database but because vietnam's not like the most visited country in the world by bikepackers we can add some in as highlights and it ends up populating the map with interesting things the more people that use it, it the better really isn't it because I mean, so that user generated. I, I, I wish I, I wish I had this, uh, you know, months ago. It's quite empowering because it tell you, it can tell you exactly where you're going, rather than just because. I mean, what I, what I do, I normally plan a route. I set the end route, end of the route, to be like just anywhere in the middle of Hoi An, for example. So we'll then have to navigate from the end of that route to the start you know, of the to the accommodation. Yeah, of course. Um, whereas if the accommodation is actually on the map and it's integrated into Kamut, I mean that that saves a lot of ag because as you, you know the end of your ride is basically the end the accommodation. The thing with, with where we're going, it's not like America where you know you, you, when you turn up in Baker, California, there's like two guest houses there, there's two motels, that's it. Whereas I suspect in Vietnam there's going to be a lot more options for accommodation. But yeah, I, I'm just going to keep on top of it the night before or a couple of nights ahead. I know what we're doing for the first four or five days, and we'll have you know, a reasonable amount of time to organise. How many commutes do you need? This is this is really cool. It will give you weather forecasts 
recommendations. So it tells you, you're going to get sunburned, it's going to be hot, so drink plenty of water. I have brought a water filtration system and you can't use it. <laughs> but it'll also give you average temperature, average chance of rain. I'm know. guessing you'll be able to see this on the morning of the ride as well. Oh, totally. The accommodation thing is a fantastic point because it means that you can end your ride at your accommodation. It also picks up accommodation from uh, Trustpilot. You have the ability to, to split one big ride into multiple days and then you can then determine how um, how long a ride is based on, well, you basically filter it by how long how long the, uh, the ride's gonna be. So there's like a personal collections element to it as well. I, I think we'll probably do a, another bit on that when we're in country because I think it'll be easier to show it once we've actually got some videos of Lawrence with a pirate ship on the back of his bike, you know, that kind of stuff. <coughs> oh, bless you. Do you have any viewers in Vietnam? Yes. Do you? Yeah. Are they going to come running? No, with they it? used to organise Saigon Crit. Imagine racing on that. Oh, it's a fix you crit as well. All oh, right, I couldn't race on that. Maybe. You can't ride a track bike. Do you know that? Not with not with a pirate ship on the back. You've never raced. Where'd I put my GoPro? On your head? No. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need before. I... Perks of owning a bike shop, I guess. <laughs> Careful. Careful. The worst bit every day in America was getting up the stairs of the motel. It's like a dog trying to get through a dog flat with a bone that's too big. I've got a text message from Rob Quirk seven minutes ago saying he'll be five minutes. Hey, oh, mate. You've grown. I've How had... tall you are, yeah. My, my you look face like grown, still like there. Yeah. The full bubble. Right? Yeah. This is that, that, um, that uh, armour-plated uh, paint scheme. Yeah. What's it, what do you call it on Quirk Cycles? Rubble. Rubble paint scheme. This is a rubble paint scheme. Nice. Scene, so it's rubbly. I see you in the airport. Bit of TIG practice today. TIG welding. It's looking You've explained right. what TIG welding is before on the channel. I won't well, that's TIG welding, welding again. yeah. You melt the two base metals together and use a filler. In this case, it's a stainless filler. And that golden straw colour is the perfect colour you want when doing stainless. The blue's alright, but when it starts changing colour, it's getting a bit hot. Nice. I'm heading up to London now and Oh, we didn't plan this, but now I'm in a car with Rob because he's going the same way, so why not? It's Baz and Dave tonight. Right, I really want to uh, oh. spend them. Oh. Right up your street. Right up my street. Yeah, right up your Yeah, exactly. Right up my street.